Hi peeps, it's Lynn from the Swirly Do's Education Design Team and today we're going to be working with alcohol inks and clearly for art modeling film um, and we're going to create this beautiful butterfly here. So what you're going to need is um, some type of a die to cut out your butterflies. I used the mini butterfly set from Tim Holtz. You're going to need some glue and seal, distress crackle paint, and alcohol inks. So let's get this rolling. All right, so we're going to start out with our die cut butterfly and our glue and seal. And I find it's easier if you hold the butterfly um, so that you don't get any run over and then you have to pick that off, um, just speaking from experience. So we're just going to put a layer of the glue and seal on the butterfly. And we're going to set that aside to dry. Now that the glue and seal has dried on the butterfly, we're going to put on a layer of crackle paint. Crackle paint is a self-leveling medium. So we're just going to kind of put it on there. Don't be afraid. Um, the more that you use and the more that you put on here, the bigger the cracks will be. So we're just I'm just going to kind of dab this on here. And then we're just going to set that aside to dry. Before I go any further with this tutorial, I want to give credit where credit is due. I saw a picture online from CHA and it was this beautiful flower and I kind of asked how it was made and come to find out this technique um, comes from Wendy Vecchi. Um, the Clearly for Art modeling film is from her product line and this is her technique. So I want to make sure that everybody understands that this comes from Wendy. The crackle accents on my butterfly has dried. Um, so now I've gathered my alcohol inks that I want to use. I've got wild plum, lettuce, stream, lemonade, and some alcohol blending solution. Okay, so I am going to start with the lighter colors first. And I'm using the lemonade and I'm just going to kind of brush on some of the alcohol ink in the center. Then I'm going to go pick up a little bit of lettuce and then I'm going to just brush that over top of it. And there's no particular order to do this and if you don't have these colors, let's not die on that mountain. Um, just find something that you're going to be happy with to make this. Then I'm going to go with stream and I'm just going to kind of paint that over top of it. And I've actually decided I want to add a color, so I'm going to be using Stone Washed on here. And your alcohol blending solution, basically it that either dilutes or removes. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of this Stone Washed. And some of the wild plum. And with the wild plum, I'm just going to kind of go around the edges of this. And if your um, alcohol ink start to dry up on the table, just pick up a little bit of um, your blending solution. And that will rehydrate it. And there we have my finished butterfly. So here we have the butterfly, all beautifully colored. Now the back's kind of looking a little messy, and because I am going to be bending this, I'm just going to paint a little bit of alcohol ink on the back of it. Now I'm going to form my butterfly.
And there you have it, a beautiful, beautiful one-of-a-kind butterfly. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time.